mental nerve, one and two, the two little points that are here between the chin. Now, Mark, you can see very well, he has beard, but the idea, and no, doesn't matter, you can still see it. What we use this for? Mostly, of course, we can also strike. So let's say, for example, this is going to be a striking point. I can use my knuckle if I want to, but also my palm, okay? So this is technically, it's a very good striking point. It's different from the, 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 below the chin. That's another point we're not going to talk now, but here, it's, it creates, of course, a direct line. You go to your brain and you can have a knockdown. Another way I like very much this mental point is to control it, to control his head. Let's say you put his head down and I'm trying to choke him and I can't. I can use now my bone here and I don't want to just put pressure. I need to rubber, like I'm rubbering, <coughs> you see? And it really opens, it's much more effective than just putting pressure. Pressure, okay, but when I rubber, he doesn't like it. Now, another way I like this one, Let's say I want to make him down, like almost go down. So right now, if I was using this as a rubbering up, it's going to probably stay up. For example, look, I'm going to use my rubbering. His body is trying to stay up. Maybe even his hands going to go up. But now if I do this one instead, you see what happens? He goes down because his leg is going to fall. Yeah. His brain, his, his nerve is, not, is connecting the legs. And the idea where I move his chin is going to go down. So I'm not going to do it again, just show it just gentle one and push him down.